All right, so we're gonna get things started. We're gonna to go to a new project. We're gonna browse. We're gonna open up the plumbing default template. Click open and click okay. Now we're gonna be using Revit 2020 for this example. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna set up my project correctly. So what I have right here is I have a template file. And this has all of my fixtures, some water heaters, and some of the pipe routing preferences are included right here along with some tags. So it's basically everything I need for any project that I'm gonna be modeling inside of Revit for plumbing design. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select everything that I wanna bring over. I'm gonna copy it to the clipboard and then I'm just going to paste it in right here. So I'm gonna go up to modify, paste, paste from clipboard, hit okay. And we'll just pick a location right here and click. We'll hit escape. And now all of this content is now inside of my project. So I can just simply select it all and hit delete. Now there are a couple things you wanna do for the settings, but I'm not gonna get into that right here in this video, but there are settings that I use when I model. So I'm gonna click okay here. And now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to insert a Revit model. So we're gonna link a Revit. We're gonna select this Revit model right here and click okay. And we're just gonna pin this model down just like that. And now we can start modeling our plumbing system. Now, before we do that, we need to figure out where the utilities are. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to insert again. And this time we're going to insert a PDF. So I'm gonna click the PDF button. We're gonna click on this civil utility plan. We're gonna click open, set the resolution and click okay. Now I'm gonna place this PDF, but you can't see it. So we have to make sure we go to our visibility graphics right here. And we're gonna go ahead and turn on raster images. And now that I've done that, you can see the PDF shows up in the background. So we need to make sure we move the PDF into place. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the move command and I'm gonna move it from this corner here and we're gonna move it right into this corner right there. Now I need to make sure I set the scale and I happen to know that the scale factor is 120. And so everything's looking great. We're gonna pin the PDF down and now everything looks good. And so we can go ahead and start drawing our utilities into the building. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna start with my water into the building and you can see the water is coming from the left side over here. So we're gonna start drawing some water at this location right here. So I'm gonna go up to my pipe tab. So we'll go to systems and we're gonna click pipe. Now I also have a keyboard shortcut. So I'm gonna use that and I'm just gonna start drawing standard pipe. We need to make sure we set it to the cold water system. And as you can see, I brought in my own system name right here, cold water. And so anything in capitals is coming from my template file. So I know which one to use. We're just going to guess the diameter. Let's start at maybe two inches and we're going to start it at negative three feet. So we'll go over here and we're going to click and we're drawing it below the floor. So I'm going to click and you're going to see Revit's going to tell me, Hey, I can't see this pipe. So what we need to do is make sure we set our view range. So I'll do that in a second. But after this, I'm going to go ahead and go up to three feet and we're going to draw our piping this way. And then we're going to go back up to maybe nine feet and then we'll draw off this way. We'll hit escape. I'm going to make sure I click on the thick lines so you guys can see everything. And now we have our water into the building. Now remember, we wanna show the water line below the floor. So we need to make sure we go to our view range. And for this example, we can just go ahead and set the bottom to unlimited and the view depth to unlimited. So we can see everything below the floor. We'll hit okay. And now you can see my line shows up very nicely. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn off this PDF temporarily. So let's just go ahead and click it and right click and hide and view the category. And now the PDF has been hidden from my view. I'm gonna go ahead and hide these little elevation markers as well. So we'll just hide the category. So now we have our water into our building. And so I wanna put a backflow preventer to protect the water from the city's water. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're going to go to systems. We're gonna add a pipe accessory and I want to select the correct backflow preventer. So I'm gonna use, uh, let's just go ahead and use this two and a half inch RPZ. So we'll click it and then we'll just kind of hover into our pipe right here, click. And now we've created this backflow preventer. We can go to a 3D view or a fine level of detail to really look at it. And maybe we want to open this up in a 3D view. So I'm going to select everything. And then I'm just going to click this little selection box and that will create a 3D view of this, anything that I have selected. 
So you can see we can also change the detail level to fine in this view and turn back on our thin lines and you can really see the backflow preventer. Now we need to make sure it's going the right way. You can see that the out symbol is this way and the in symbol is this way. So we actually need to flip this thing. So luckily Revit gives us these little flip buttons. So we're gonna flip this and now you can see the ends over here and now we need to rotate it. So we're gonna click this little rotate button two times and now we have our backflow preventer oriented in the correct way. So that's looking great.